Does it make sense to stack the American Silver Eagle today? Now I'm Sean and in this channel we talk about everything gold and silver and I believe that the American Silver Eagles today is no longer a good buy. And to be honest, they haven't been a great deal for the last few years, right? You know, I've been stacking the American Silver Eagles for some time and I love them, right? You can see right here, I have six tubes of American Silver Eagles, so it's around 120 ounces in total. And they are truly a timeless coins. But the big problem is that the premiums are really, really getting ridiculous, right? You know, I started getting into Eagles back in around 2013, 2014. And if I'm not wrong, the premiums back then per coin was just around $2 to $2.50 over spot. And each coin was easily around $18 to $20 back then. However, today it's getting quite ridiculous, right? Like the spot price is around uh, $22.80. However, if you look at some of the online bullion dealers, they're easily selling their egos from anywhere between $34 all the way to $38. So why is there quite a bit of a price discrepancy, right? And it's kind of getting very, very concerning, right? Every year, I've been seeing the premiums of Eagles rise from 10% to 20% and over 30%, right? And recently, it's over 40% and that is truly very concerning. You probably realize right now that there's a bit of a more of a spotlight being shone on silver and precious metals in general. You know, people are all afraid of inflation. Everyone's all looking towards alternative assets uh, away from the stock market. You know, it could be real estate, it could be Bitcoin and especially uh, gold and silver, right? And because of this, right, a lot of uh, demand is going to these physical metals. So I do understand that truly there is a need to actually uh, increase the premiums from the side of the mint and refiners themselves. But how can you actually justify, right, a move from maybe 2 to $3 an ounce all the way to 10 or even $12 an ounce? It just doesn't make sense. And the thing is that even if you're moving towards sound money and we are investing into hard assets, right, at the end of the day, right, they're just a means to an end. And the means is to protect our purchasing power as well as profit from it when the time comes, right? And if inflation is hitting us every year at around like uh, 5 to 6% a year, however, when we buy silver, suddenly we're down 20 to 30 or even 40%. It really doesn't make sense. I believe that premium should go up. However, not to this uh, extent of what the premiums are for the American Silver Eagles, right? Now, uh, this is the issue that I really have. There's a lot of videos and advice out there trying to get people into silver, and I, and I think that's great, right? And the American Silver Eagles frequently gets brought up, right? Everyone uh, talks about the American Silver Eagle, how it's a very, very recognized coin. And that's all and like, good, but it's quite misleading because it's not really uh, the best option for silver stacking today, right? It hasn't been the best option for silver stacking if we really want to be honest and we just look at the hard numbers, all right? So if we look at some of the silver coins out there and we do a comparison, we can just see that, for example, the 2021 ounce American Silver Eagle, Brilliant Uncirculated, it's going for around $37.83 an ounce. That's crazy. And at the same time period, if you look at the Silver Maple Leaf, it's only going for around $29.32. So what gives? Why is there such a big discrepancy, right? And the thing is that, you know, a lot of people, they do say that American Eagles, yes, when you sell them off, you will be able to get quite a bit of your premium back. And I truly believe that, yes, you do get some of your premium back, but you have to look at the numbers in a holistic manner, right? You will get back more of your premium, but you also will lose more. And let's just take a look at the numbers right now. Right, if you take a look at the numbers, we can see that for the American Silver Eagle 2021, you'll pay around 65% premium over spot. And when you sell it off, you'll recover around 20%. And that means you lose 45%, right? And even for the 2022, the latest incoming American Silver Eagle, you'll pay around 42%. And the premium you recover will be around 20% as well. That is basically the bullion dealer's buyback price. And you'll lose a premium in total of around 22%. That's not very good, right? Now, if we compare it with other kinds of silver coins, such as the silver Canadian maple, 
you can see that you'll be paying a premium of around 26% and you'll recover around 11% when you set it off. That means your premium loss is only 15%, right? And for the Silver Britannias, you'll only lose 16% uh, when you decide to sell it off, right? When the time comes. So this is something that I believe is actually very concerning, right? So if you actually put in $10,000 investments into silver eagles for example the 2021 version you immediately lose four thousand dollars right your ten thousand dollars you'll be only getting around six thousand dollars worth of silver and losing four thousand dollars instantly so if you think about this right you know why don't for that same amount of money that i can use to get 100 silver eagles i might as well just get 130 silver maples right that's 30 coins more. That's 30 guaranteed ounces of silver that I can hold, that I can profit from when the time comes to sell my silver, right? When the price of silver goes up eventually. And I don't have to play any guessing games on the premiums, right? And the thing is that, yes, if you want to sell it off to third parties, you want to sell it off to other private individuals, you will be able to get back more of your premium, no doubt. But you have to think about it this way. Now, if the market is hot and more people really flood into silver. Yes, you can probably recover more premium that way. But if the price of silver starts to fall and if the market is quite silent and quite dead, for example, maybe for the last five to 10 years where the price of silver more or less was just uh, going up and down, go back, going up and down, gathering energy in a consolidation mode, you'll be quite hard pressed to actually recover quite a bit of your premiums. And there could be a scenario that if the price of silver really spikes as well and the premium of the American Eagle starts going up 20, 30, 40%, and I'm just going to say it, right, there is going to be a scenario that Silver Eagle's premiums could spike up to 50 to 60%. I don't know what's really going on out there. Do people really love the Eagles? Do they have such a fascination about this coin? And does the US mean not have a conscience and actually, uh, you know, lower their premiums and if it comes to that point people can just easily refuse to buy the eagles and just opt for other coins right they'll opt for the maples or they could easily opt for the britannias as well and now this is the thing that really irks me now the big blow to this is that the real damage isn't done to seasoned investors such as you or me and people who have been in the silver game for quite a while the real damage is done to new investors who are really trying to get into silver investing right and the thing is that when you first get into silver investing i'm sure you've heard of many different ways to get into silver there's the etf there's the silver coin there is silver bars and you know there's even paper silver some banks are actually selling paper silver as well right but and the mantra people keep hearing is silver eagles silver eagles silver eagles right and let's say they really get a silver eagles and once they find out that they get a silver eagle for around let's say $38 or $36 whatever and they can only sell it off at like what $25 or $26 maybe $27 and when that realization hits them right they'll feel so stupid and that will make them swear off uh you know getting to physical silver right just imagine you invest um into a stock right and your brokerage is around 30 to 40 percent won't that piss you off you put in $100 into an investment and suddenly 30 to 40% evaporates into the thin air. Now, I believe that this is a great disservice to new investors. And there's really no excuse as other mints like the Royal Canadian Mint and as well as the British Mint, right? The Royal Mint, they keep their prices relatively stable. You know, uh, their sales are still going up as well as uh, the premiums. Yeah, it's slightly going up, but it's not as, as egregious as... Um, the American Silver Eagles, right? And I do have a pet peeve on the design of the Eagles as well. Now, I'm not going to make any comment on a Type 2 uh, Eagle design. I'm just going to talk about the good old-fashioned Type 1 coin. Now, if you look at this coin, right, you can see that the design hasn't changed for over 10, 20 years, right? And it's getting rather uninspiring and dull. You know, I love the Walking Liberty over there or Standing Liberty, however you call it. But it's more or less just a basic silver coin. Now, if you want to compare it with other coins such as, for example, the silver maples or the Britannias, you can see that these coins are the evolution of silver investing, right? You know, there are some fake silvers out there and these coins have really 
how do I say, earn their premium because they have come out with quite cool security features such as the radio lines over here that gives it a shimmer effect when I uh, move the coin and you can even see some security features such as the preview mark over here for the maple as well as for the Britannias. They do have some kind of like mini lock that actually rotates from a trident to a bank lock when you uh, shift it around. And the thing is, this is why I really believe that American Silver Eagle does not justify its huge cost, right? There are many other alternatives that you can consider. I mean, once again, you can get the Maples or the Britannias. And if you really want to save more on uh, the Silver Premiums, guys, you can even go for the 10 ounce Silver Bars, right? It doesn't have to be uh, Royal Canadian Mint Silver Bar over here. If I'm not wrong, the premium down here is around... Um, 11 to 15 percent right still steep but this is a bargain compared to the 30 to 40 percent premiums that you see on the american silver eagles right i really believe there are many other great alternatives to silver eagles at the end of the day you really want to get the most ounces in your hand and that is what is really going to count whether you believe that we are going to, going to go back to a society where you barter with silver or whether you just want to sell it for profit like you want to cash it out get your cash and put it into stocks real estate or whatever you want to have the most ounces that you can sell right you know if eagles were maybe like five percent more expensive than other coins maybe you could come up with an argument that they are better in the states but the numbers as of how they are today they just don't add up and you will not get back um, the majority of your premium, right? You will lose money investing into silver eagles compared to other kinds of silver. You know, I still love the eagles, guys. I have over 120 ounces here. And they are some of the first coins that I bought to establish my stack, but I cannot in good conscience today recommend them. So let me know what you think about American silver eagle. Are you still going to stack them? Are you still loyal to the eagle all the way to the end, even if the premiums go up 70, 80 or 90%? Hey guys, it could happen. You never know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more gold and silver videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.